Hey guys, today we're in the kitchen and I am going to be showing you what we're having for dinner tonight. I am also going to be doubling the recipe and um, splitting it in half and saving half of it in a gallon size freezer bag, putting it in my deep freezer and saving it for a later date. And I'm doing this because sometimes it's easier to buy larger quantities of things. It actually ends up being a bit cheaper. And so I happen to just have a lot of ingredients on hand that um, I need to go ahead and either use or freeze so they don't go bad. Don't like wasting produce around here, so I really do try to save it when possible. So let me just flip the camera around, show you what we're doing today, and yeah, here it goes. So tonight we are making cilantro lime chicken with corn and black beans. So the ingredients that we will need is going to be chicken. You can either use chicken breasts or thighs. Um, I just happen to have a lot of chicken breasts on hand, so that's what we're using. We need some black beans. We need corn. We really like this uh, sweet corn from Costco. Uh, it's just so tasty and delicious. Seriously, we can't get enough of it. So we tend to always use that when we can. We need some onions, some juice from limes. We need bell peppers. And you can use any color bell peppers that you want. This is just what we happen to have on hand. So that's what we're going with. We need cilantro and um, as you know, cilantro does not last long. It seems like if you have it home for more than about a day or two, it just starts to wilt and go bad. So I want to use up that cilantro and not waste it before it goes bad. We're going to be using salt, black pepper, cumin, and chili powder. And so yeah, I'm going to get these ingredients that need to be chopped up. I'm going to go ahead and chop them up and then we will be back soon to show you how we put it in the crock pot. And then of course we are doubling the recipe, so I'm going to also show you how to put that all into a freezer bag and save it for a different night's dinner. All right, so as I said before, we are making a double batch of this and I'm going to put half into my slow cooker for tonight. This is one of my favorite cooking um, gadgets, utensils. Um, I've had this since I got married. My mother-in-law bought it for me and it has been well loved and well used since that time. Um, I just don't know what I do without my slow cooker. I use it a couple times a week um, is just such a helpful thing when you're a busy mom and you've got lots going on to just throw food into the slow cooker and know that when dinner time rolls around, you're not going to be running around wondering what on earth am I going to feed these kids. So we're going to put half of the ingredients that I just prepared into the crock pot for tonight. The other half is going to go into this freezer bag right here. So I just labeled the freezer bag with the date and um, labeled it with what's in the bag so I don't forget. and I'll all right, so I've got all my cilantro chopped, I've got all my bell peppers chopped, and all my onion chopped. I've also got my limes ready to go to squeeze um, and get that yummy lime juice out of there. And my beans are washed and ready to go. I just love food, it's so beautiful. <laughs> all right, so we're ready to go and get everything put into either the crock pot or the bag. So I'm gonna start with the chicken. I'm gonna put about two pounds of chicken into each, into, into the crock pot and then into the bag, so. two pounds in each so let me wash my hands real quick before we start working with veggies okay and next we're gonna do our beans so I went ahead and washed both cans of beans so I'm gonna do half of so it was two cans of beans so I'm gonna do half and half half in the crock pot for tonight and the other one into the freezer bag for next time all right next up we're gonna do a cup of corn in each going to split up our veggies. So each recipe calls for two bell peppers. So I chopped up four, so I'm just going to go ahead and half and half it. That right on top. So each recipe called for, let's see, each recipe called for two tablespoons of chopped cilantro, but 
we tend to like cilantro a lot, so I chopped up more than that. You can do more or less or just take it out altogether if you really don't like cilantro. I know that there are some of you weirdos out there. So, let's see. Split that up half and half. And then also each recipe calls for a whole onion. So we went ahead and diced up two onions. We're gonna just split that in half again. So this is super easy, guys. Like, this is a lifesaver. The fact that I'm making dinner for tonight and then I'm gonna have a whole, a whole other dinner prepped and ready to go just for a day that I'm like, really can't think too much about dinner tonight. Just need something quick and easy to throw into the crock pot and have ready. This makes it so much simpler to stay on top of things and to not be just eating junk or having to go out to dinner and stuff when you feel feel, feel ill prepared, sorry. So each recipe also calls for lime from um, one juiced lime for each. So we're gonna just go ahead and juice the lime into each of them. We really like lime also, so if you wanted to add more to your taste, you could. I just love how the lime flavor comes through in this recipe. Okay, and now we're gonna add our spices. So, each recipe calls for two tablespoons of chili powder. So we've got our chili powder right here. So one on top of the crock pot and two in the crock pot. And we're gonna do two also in the bag, our freezer bag. <clears throat> we got one teaspoon of salt. Per recipe, one teaspoon per recipe. We've got a teaspoon of cumin for each. And then about a half a teaspoon of black pepper for each. There's one, and there's two. Great. And we are ready to go. So, as you can see, I've got this all prepped in this freezer bag right here. I'm just gonna try to push some of the air out of it. And look, that is dinner for a different night. That's awesome. So I will just put this in my deep freezer, and like I said, when I'm ready, just pull it out, throw it in the crock pot. The directions are on it, so I don't have to go rummaging around for the directions on that. And as far as tonight's dinner, we're just gonna turn it on high because um, it is already noon and so this is gonna need five to six hours to cook. So this will be perfect by the time five or 6 p.m. rolls around, it'll be ready. Um, the thing that I really love about this recipe is that you can serve it in a lot of different ways. You can serve it on top of rice, you can serve it inside um, taco shells or tortillas. You can just eat it on its own. You can make nachos out of it. Seriously, really versatile. Um, my kids will all eat it, thankfully, so I kind of have to do it different ways for them, but they'll they'll eat it, and so it's great, and it also makes great leftovers. Um, if there's any leftovers tonight, which I'm not sure if there will be, but I will most certainly heat it up tomorrow and eat it myself for lunch, uh, which is great because as a busy mom, lunch can be kind of hard. You kind of you kind of have trouble sitting down and actually eating lunch when you're in the middle of doing a million different things during the day, so if you have leftovers on hand, it's perfect. Mom doesn't miss out on lunch, which is just a great thing. So yeah, we'll come back when it's all done and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished and ready to be eaten. So dinner turned out great. It was super yummy. Um, I really enjoyed it. So the recipe will be in the video description. If you try it out, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back next time. All right, see you guys.